welcome back. So, I'm just gonna hide my address real quick. I got a package from the Painted Desert. I actually placed an order, so that's why I have a package. Let's dig in. Sorry, um, <gasps> I'm so excited. I love their packaging. This is, like, I love how they wrap their stuff. So, ooh. and I always reuse my boxes. So, before I get into these color gels and everything. I have so much gel on my desk right now. Before I get into those, I want to talk about this little e-file real quick, okay? So, you can see my face in the reflection. Awkward. So, I purchased this because while I do enjoy using my full-size portable e-file, the one that's like cordless and all that stuff, I tend to actually, like, you know in the back of press-ons when the glue gets stuck and everything? This is a new press-on, so you can't see it. But um, when the glue starts to get stuck and all that stuff, when you take it off and you like want to reuse them, you need to file that part off. So in order to do that, I use my e-file, but I don't like taking my large one out. So I want like a press-on e-file that I could even take on the go if I'm somewhere and my nail pops off and I want to glue it back on, I need to remove the glue, right? So that's why I went ahead and, oh, this is so beautiful. This packaging, I'm not throwing this box away. Ooh, yes. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, all right, let's look at the, hold on. Painted Desert, like, I don't know what it is about this company. They're so glam. They're so luxurious. Like, everything they do, their branding, their packaging, everything is top-notch. They use very good quality boxes. Wherever they manufacture from their bottles and everything, they put a thought into every single piece of their products. And I love that. So this is the little e-file. There might be a charger behind here. So, this is so nice. Okay, so what did this come with? It came with the charger cord. Yes, not like I don't need more of these. Um, this looks like to be the same cord that use, they use on their um, little lamp right here. It's the same. Ta-da! Awesome. So, it also came with your standard e-file bits that you see literally with every single e-file. So, you got the standing bands. And the holder for the sanding bands, I'm drawing a blank as to what that's called. I like the ball bits, and I like this one. I don't really usually care for the other ones. But I love that they included this in it as, like, a removal bit. I love that it's, like, an add-on. Um, another tip is when you're taking the um, this thing out, don't ever throw this away. Keep this. Just keep this, trust me, because when you're traveling and stuff, you always want something inside your e-file bit to hold it closed so no dust gets in there. So don't throw that away. Okay, I'm putting that in here. I really do love that they included this drill bit for removal. Alright, so it's locked in there. <gasps> Whoa! Homeboy, you are strong. Whoa, that was strong. It goes up to 35,000 RPMs, which I never, ever use. I don't think I usually ever go past 12. I mean, it sounds like an e-file. I don't know what to expect. Ooh, it's, it's like... It's weighty. It's got some weight to it, you know? Let me turn that off. Anyway, so yeah, let me move on to the other stuff. So here are the new cactus color bases. There's five of them, and I'll get into the other stuff. Is it really just five? Okay, I'll get into the other stuff in a second. However, if you look over here, I want to show you all the other color bases I have from the Painted Desert. Um, this is like my gel polish rack where I keep all my gels, bases, stuff I use for my press-on business. So you have a color base 110. This is the glitter one. I absolutely love this one. Oh, this one, oh my god, it was like a holiday favorite. I loved using this during the Christmas time. Um, then I have all these different bases up here. So you have the rubber bases and then the color bases. Um, one day I will truly understand the difference between all of them. But this is what the new ones came in that packaging. So two of them were glitters and then three were just solids. Just, not just. So here's what the glitter 131 looks like. Oh yes, you are so rich. Oh, this probably would have been great for my gingerbread design. 
Oh, I love this color. And then 130. So, oh, that one's a little more brown, like a richer, warmer. Oh, I love this one. So this was the stuff they sent me in PR, was the gel color bases. The rest I did purchase myself. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh. If y'all ever want like a discount on Painted Desert stuff, you can always use my affiliate discount. I have it all linked in the description box below. If you don't want to type anything in, you can just click the links. This one's like very like eggnoggy, if that makes any sense. And then number 66, I think this will be my favorite. I love these light, light, light pink ones. They're totally my favorite. Oh, she's beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay, so now let's get into the top coats. Um, yeah, there, there's... Oh, there's another color base. I knew I was. there was one more. I knew it. This one's called 135. That's another... Oh, yes. Ooh, it's very pink. This one's very pink. Okay, so let me show you how it looks between 134 and 166. So you got very pink, light pink, like this is a mauve pink, light pink, and this is like a soft, soft pink. So those are so pretty, I love them. Thank you, Casey and the Painted Desert team for sending that. I'm so excited to try those. But what I'm totally here for is the glitter top coats. So what these are are no wipe top coats that you can put over a finished design to add some pizzazz, some glitter to your design. I've totally done this before. And so I totally love adding glitter on top of set. It totally transforms. Let me show you this set. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a press on set that I created. Literally every single nail is the same base color, has the same glitter gold French tips. The only thing I did differently was I put a glitter top coat on two of them. The two that didn't have the little added sparkles, I added a little glitter top coat and it just basically transformed. I mean, I just love this. I love this. And that is, where is that glitter top coat? It's this one. It's one of their older ones. Um, gold glitter top coat. So that's literally what I put on top of that nude color to make it look like this and you can totally see how gold it is. It's really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swatch everything and show it all to you guys. I'm going to swatch off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I swatched the top coats. I even did them in clear swatches in case y'all want to see that. But I think over black shows it best. Um, so as you can see, this is the original gold glitter top coat. I think this one is more of a glitter and this is a, so much more finer. So this one is a gold top coat. This one is 312. Then 319 is the purpley one. And then 322 is the blue one. And 326, I feel like it's like gold and purple. It's multiple colors. So anyways, um, this one definitely more of a th thicker grittier um, glitter feel. This one's finer, more shimmery. All of these are more on the finer side. This one's more chunky. So that's what I've noticed. So you can see the colors there. And I also wanna show you the clear swatches because why not? So the middle one, 319, that one's the hardest to show up on a clear swatch. I'm like doing it over black like. Mm. So as you can tell, based on these swatches, the glitter, the first one, gold top coat, that one's definitely more glittery, as you can tell. This one's finer, and then it's harder to see the other two on clear. So my advice would be like this one for sure, and maybe these two, to not do them over clear. Try to do them over like something that they can really show up on. So those are the swatches of those and then I'm gonna do the um, color bases next all right and here are the cactus color bases like I said before 66 and 135 are definitely my favorite they're colors I definitely see myself wearing um, 134 I love this mauve I can see myself wearing that too and definitely these more brown tones with the glitters in them oh, you can see it better like that. Um, this one is like, how do I describe this? I called it like an eggnog color. I also think it's like bone. That's another color that I could like compare it to. It's like bone. 
yeah, so it's definitely very yellow tone in comparison to the rest of them. But I do like that they carry so many different options. So you can go for whatever you like and whatever works for you. So hopefully these color comparisons look good to you. That's 66, 130, 131, 133, 134, and 135. So those are the colors I have here. I definitely have more colors as well. Um, but I don't have these swatched. These are the ones I've been having for since the summertime. 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. So I'm very happy to add like 66 to this little collection in the front. And then these. So I think I might remove my rubber bases from here and put these up there since they're all the same category. All right, so that is the end of my unboxing PR haul. So I ordered some of this stuff. They sent me the cactus color bases, so I do have to disclose that to you guys. That's why I'm bringing it up. I'm just like, I don't ever wanna seem braggy when I'm talking about PR and stuff, but I am legally required to disclose it. So that's why I let you guys know that these were free and then I paid for these. So um, yeah, I think. That is it for today's video. If you guys have any suggestions on more stuff that you would like to see on my channel, like do you want more PR hauls, unboxings, Q and A's, tutorials. I was thinking about doing like tutorial Tuesday. I'm actually switching my upload schedule. I'll tell you all more about that later on. But I was thinking about doing like tutorial Tuesdays where it's like a really quick, like two or three minute tutorial or something like that. Um, just so I can like have content that's educational, but also fun content like this with uh, unboxings and stuff and all that. I want a variety of both, but I also want your feedback as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you The Painted Desert for sending over these beautiful cactus color bases. And if you guys ever need anything and you're curious about what I use, where I got it from, it's all linked in the description box below. If I do miss adding something, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.